I don't know why, I just keep wanting to call this Point Break. I see the title, it's Point Blank, but I want to call it Point Break. What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. As promised, we're back with another Netflix review, and today's movie is Point Blank, not Point Break. Today, we are talking about this film. If you have seen it, get in the comments down below. Let me know, did you enjoy it? Were you underwhelmed? And if you haven't seen it, it is on Netflix for you guys to check out right now. Let's talk about this film. So to save his pregnant wife, an emergency room nurse teams up with an injured murder suspect in a race against time, rival criminals, and renegade cops. First of all, we have to talk about what everyone is buzzing about, and that's the fact that we have Anthony Mackie and Frank Grillo, aka Falcon and Crossbones from the MCU teaming up. I know everyone is not going to look at them that way, but that's how I see them because I love those two actors as those characters, and just in general. Mackie lately hasn't been in the best films outside of the MCU, but he's a very good actor. And then Frank Grillo, he is always showing up in these very low budget films. He was actually in a movie called Wheelman on Netflix, I believe a few years ago, and he was really good in that film. And once again, they're good in this movie, but the reason why I like their characters so much is not because they're good actors, because we know they're good actors. It's because of the chemistry, and for this film to work, their chemistry has to be good. And the biggest positive I can give this film is the fact that their chemistry was off the charts amazing. They haven't necessarily worked with each other before, even though they were in the same movie, but seeing these two guys on screen together, my goodness, guys, it is the chemistry that you expect. And if you enjoy this film, I think a lot of that will come from their dynamic together. In terms of the plot, this is a story that is very familiar. It follows similar beats. One of the reasons is because it is based on a French film from, I believe, 2010 of the same name. Haven't watched that movie, so I have nothing to compare this to, but it also pulls from very similar films in this fashion and has similar beats. Now, one thing I was worried about going into this movie is that it would just take itself a bit too seriously, and that's not the kind of film I want to see with these two actors. We did get a movie that tries to bring an element of fun within it. There's comedy, there are side supporting characters that come in, and all they do is play off of each other in a comedic way. It didn't actually work as well as I wanted it to because even though that's the route I wanted it to go down and it went down that route, sometimes in the movie it just felt a bit off. Whether it's the music choice behind a scene when that scene is supposed to be serious, you let that scene be serious. Instead, you're interjecting music that just doesn't fit or a score that doesn't fit behind it, right? Then you have these comedic characters coming in during very tense situations or coming out of a situation that was just kind of life-threatening towards certain characters, and the comedy did not necessarily match with the tone during that specific scene, and because of that, another reason why, it just kind of took me out of the experience. What I loved about this movie, I thoroughly loved and I thoroughly enjoyed, and I do see this as a film that I think is going to impress a lot of people. You know what you're in for with these two actors, and if that's all you want out of this film, I think you'll like it. I take nothing away from anyone who enjoyed this film because of that. But for me, I think the movie as a whole, the shell surrounding our really good talent within here, wasn't up to par to the talents of the actors and really the talents of the people involved. I thought the cinematography was pretty nice, nothing dynamic, nothing new, but it didn't do anything to sweep me off my feet, blow me away, make me sit back and go, wow, they're really doing this in an action movie on Netflix. It followed the beats that you expect it to follow. There are the crooked cops, there are the people behind the scenes that are maybe playing a game that they should not be playing. You expect all of this going in, but it did do it in such a predictable way, in such a way that is just so similar to other movies that I have seen that have really done this a bit better. Even this year, and I know I talk about it all the time, Dragged Across Concrete is one of my absolute favorite movies of the year, and it is about two cops teaming up to take on a situation. This is not a similar movie, but my point is to say that I thoroughly enjoy movies like this when they do something right or when they focus in on the characters and keep a consistent tone. And not that this movie didn't know what it was, because I think it did. I think the filmmakers knew exactly how they wanted to make this movie. They wanted to make it a bit stylistic and bring in these songs that maybe don't fit in this situation, inject a bit of humor here and there, give you a storyline that is easy to get emotionally connected 
connected to because of the premise, but that premise is not an original premise. This is based off of a remake, and the remake, I haven't watched the movie, like I said, but I went in and read the summary on IMDb, and it's the exact same summary, so nothing in this movie is original. Once again, that's okay. It's all about the execution, and for me, it just felt off, and it felt so familiar. These Netflix movies, they usually don't, and we've had a few this year that have been really good, but they usually don't take chances. They usually don't inject a specific style into a movie to make it overcome all of the problems that it suffers through. Once again, not saying this movie is horrible. I have actually read some reviews saying this is one of the worst movies of the year. Oh my gosh, can't believe they went down this route and treated these characters like this. I'm not going to go that far because there is definitely fun to be had, especially if you like these actors and not just our main two leads. I thought Lieutenant Lewis was good. I thought the character of Matteo was good. You buy why they're doing what they're doing, or you buy the intensity that they have about this certain situation. And director Joe Lynch, he knew that. I think he knew what he wanted the characters to be. They just didn't come together to create a compelling story. And that's why I think at the end of the day, this movie was a bit underwhelming. Not that I expected way more because it's an action movie on Netflix with two actors that haven't been in the best films as of late, but it did underwhelm in a sense. And because of all of those things, I'm going to go 52%, not too low, for point blank not point break. So once again, let me know if you guys enjoy this movie. I may actually be in the minority on this one. And tell me in the comments down below, have you seen the original that this movie is based off of? As far as I know, there's only one original, but it may be a remake of a remake of a remake. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will be back uh, in a couple of hours with another review. So many things dropping this weekend. Can't wait to talk about all of them. You guys are the absolute best, and I'll see you very soon.